guys! So today I'll be reviewing a book for you and it is Blood Dragons by Rosemary A. Johns. And I just finished this book and yeah, I received this book in return for an honest review. The author sent me this book and the second book in the collection. It's um, part of a series called Rebel Vampires. So yeah, she was kind enough to sign both of the books for me and personalize them so I'm really happy about that and um yeah I'm excited to get into this review because I have a lot of great things to say about this book so let's get started so first off I'll kind of tell you what the book is about so the book follows our main character Light who is a vampire and it's kind of talking about his story as he falls in love with a human so he's retelling the story so it's all about the stuff that happened in the past as they are already in a relationship and he kind of wants to just give her all the truth about their story and how they met and all of that. In the present, she already knows that he's a vampire, but there's a lot of details that he left out that he's kind of now trying to be more open about and tell her. So in the book, you kind of jump from the present to the past to even a further past towards when he was first turned into a vampire. The majority of the story takes place in the late 1980s in London and it kind of follows his path as he meets this human and falls in love with her. So what I really enjoyed about the story was kind of the approach. I feel like a lot of the times we don't, a lot of vampire genres don't really tell the story from a vampire's perspective and I absolutely adored the character Light. He's like a rebel in a sense and he's kind of, he's always been like against these vampire things. Before he was a vampire he was kind of more on the nerdy anxious side so as he becomes a vampire he gets cooler but also tries to break a lot of the rules that the vampires have and that sort of thing. So I really liked him as a character. I thought he was really well done and it was just great being able to follow his story. I also really enjoyed the kind of take on the story. Like I said, it's from his perspective, which I don't really think you get a lot. And it kind of has a similar vibe to the book Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice. So I really liked that kind of aspect of the book. The plot was very interesting and engaging and the writing is very descriptive. I feel like she does a really great job of kind of bringing up these issues about what it means to be a vampire and what it means to be human and how those lines are kind of blurred. I really was intrigued by that. And while the romance and the relationship does obviously take a huge part in the novel, I don't feel that it's cheesy in any way. And it felt very nice because he's in love with a very strong female character. She's very independent and stubborn, which I really liked. So it was kind of interesting to kind of see their balance. But I feel like the couple was just really dynamic and they were just really cute together. But it wasn't cheesy or it was in still love in a way, but not in the kind of annoying way that you find in a lot of YA novels and I liked that the the plot was a little the plot is a little different than most novels I feel like it does start off pretty slow and you're kind of wondering like okay what's gonna happen like what's the what's the idea what are we getting at so it does go a little slow but I feel like the writing and just the main character is intriguing enough to keep you going and then you get more of the plot and what's going to happen and then more towards the end of the novel. My only kind of concern with the plot was I feel like it was a little rushed towards the end. I kind of feel like maybe she was going in a direction and then was like, oh, we need something kind of to like make this more interesting. So she added in this other plot besides the relationship aspect of it. And I liked that part, but I feel like it just came on too fast. Like, I felt like she could have added a little more subtly towards the beginning of the narrative and then progressed it a little more towards the end. But I feel like it, like, probably by, like, the th a third, two-thirds of the way, we kind of got more of the 
overall plot and it was like wait where is that coming from there were like little tidbits that he mentions mentions seeing but we're never actually told those things in the writing so it's kind of weird that now he's mentioning them but it was never something that was brought to our attention through the beginning of the book and sometimes i feel like the writing while it's beautiful it gets a little too flower flowerly it gets a little too descriptive and i feel like i'm losing my place in terms of what's going on in the scene but other than that i feel like this was a really great book i'm going to start the second one which i believe is titled blood shackles in like probably this week i just feel like it's a really great book and i like that she did something different with the whole vampire genre that i haven't actually i haven't personally seen done before so i really enjoyed that so if you're into like the vampire genre or urban fantasy but kind of tired of the old tropes that are repeated i feel like this would be a really enjoyable read and something new there are a few twists that i wasn't expecting and it's just a really good book i'm curious to see how it progresses in the second one but um yeah i really enjoyed it and cannot wait to get to the second one if you guys have read this book, let me know. I'd love to hear your opinions or how you felt about it. If you're interested in checking it out, let me know that too in the comments below. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!